Artificial intelligence has officially left the chat and stepped into the physical world. Two back-to-back -back major announcements just dropped from NVIDIA. NVIDIA introduced Alpamayo, an open-source physical AI model for autonomous vehicles. It packages Alpamayo models with AlpaSim and physical AI datasets, with the first passenger car deployment scheduled for Mercedes-Benz in early 2026. At the same event, NVIDIA revealed their next-generation Rubin chips, which are five times more powerful than current Blackwell chips for running AI models. What is even more surprising is that they are already being manufactured and rolling off production lines right now. Let's start with Vera Rubin. NVIDIA claims that Rubin will cut the cost of running AI to roughly one-tenth of what Blackwell costs per request. This is not a 10% improvement, it is a tenfold cost reduction. NVIDIA says, this is a Rubin pod, 1,152 GPUs and 16 racks. Each rack contains 72 Rubin GPUs. Vera Rubin combines six new chips into one AI supercomputer. It includes the NVIDIA Vera CPU, Rubin GPU, NVIDIA Link 6, Connect X9, Bluefield 4, and Spectrum 6 Ethernet. These components are co-designed to operate as one unified platform. NVIDIA announced Vera Rubin will deliver 10 times lower inference token costs compared to Blackwell, require four times fewer GPUs for mixture of experts model training, achieve five times better energy efficiency using Spectrum X photonic routing, maintain five times longer system uptime using photonic signaling stability, provide 10 times higher reliability through Ethernet photonics, and support 18 times faster assembly and maintenance cycles than Blackwell. Vera Rubin becomes Comes commercially available in the second half of 2026. The Vera CPU inside this platform carries 227 billion transistors and includes 88 Olympus CPU cores. Rubin, the GPU side of this system, delivers 50 petaflops of artificial intelligence compute per GPU pod and 100 petaflops when deployed in the NVL72 rack configuration. Each Rubin GPU carries 288 gigabytes of 8-stack HBM4 memory, delivering 22 terabytes per second of throughput at 10.7 gigabits per pin. At the same time, AMD launched the MI455X GPU at CES 2026. This GPU includes 12-stack HBM4 memory, running at 6.4 gigabits per pin, delivering 19.6 terabytes per second of bandwidth. On paper, both are next-generation GPUs. In practice, they reveal a deeper divergence. Rubin prioritizes speed and precision. MI455X prioritizes memory capacity and volume. Both approaches can succeed under different conditions, but they do not scale equally in the same economic environment. AI performance depends heavily on data movement. Compute units can only process what memory, supplies, and AI models transfer massive amounts of data per request. Blackwell advanced AI performance. Rubin pushes performance even higher while cutting the cost of inference dramatically. When a company can run trillion parameter models at one-tenth the inference cost, the financial model of AI changes completely. In accelerated AI systems, bottlenecks rarely come from compute limits. They come from data movement inefficiencies that waste cycles. Rubin introduces a new 4-bit floating point inference pathway called NVFP4. This is not marketing. It is a real compute precision method that runs 4-bit floating point operations where full 32-bit or 16-bit precision is unnecessary. Most inference workloads do not require high precision to generate accurate tokens. Reducing precision reduces power consumption, eliminates memory duplication overhead, reduces routing congestion, lowers inference latency, and drastically cuts cost per token processed. Rubin also supports NVFP6 and NVFP8 for higher precision tasks, but NVFP4 is the most cost-efficient inference method. Let's discuss chip packaging and chiplet strategy realistically, without metaphors. Each HBM stack mounted onto a GPU requires more 2.5D silicon interposer area. Larger interposers increase cost and raise manufacturing failure probability. Rubin uses 8 HBM stacks but runs each stack at 10.7 gigabits per pin, delivering 22 terabytes per second while consuming less silicon space and achieving better yield efficiency. MI455X uses 12 HBM stacks, consuming 50% more HBM memory chiplets per GPU. This requires more interposer space, more wafer allocation, more thermal redundancy, and increases manufacturing failure probability. This 50% extra memory chiplet usage becomes a strategic disadvantage as HBM4 production yield improves. Memory suppliers allocate wafers based on profit margin, incentives. Early production yields more lower binned chiplets. Later production yields more top binned chiplets. Top binned memory chips generate more profit and are prioritized for NVIDIA. 
AMD cannot scoop clearance-priced HBM inventory like they did with HBM 3E. Samsung's strong HBM4 yield performance also means AMD cannot scoop cheap HBM4 memory inventory at discounted pricing. This means AMD's shipments become limited by memory supply, not by market demand. NVIDIA built an inference cost advantage at the chiplet level, not just the GPU core level. Now the networking architecture. Each Rubin compute tray includes eight ConnectX9 network interface cards. Each card transfers 1.6 terabits per second, delivering 200 gigabytes per second of real throughput. Eight network cards means 12.8 terabits per second per tray. Each rack includes 18 compute trays. This results in 230.4 terabits per second of internal data bandwidth per rack. Data centers used to treat networking lanes like basic infrastructure. Rubin turns them into measurable data throughput pathways that power compute clusters. The Bluefield 4 data processing unit handles storage routing, encryption, packet inspection, firewall segmentation, security isolation, storage read and write orchestration, sandboxing, key security, and failure recovery. GPUs previously wasted 20 to 30% of cycles on storage and security overhead. Rubin moves those tasks to the data processing unit, allowing GPUs to run almost entirely AI compute workloads. Next is the Envlink 6 switching tray. Envlink 6 connects 18 compute nodes and scales to 72 Rubin GPUs, operating as one logical mixture of experts training system. NVIDIA claims NVLink 6 moves more data than the global internet. What this means technically is that NVIDIA Link 6 eliminates gradient duplication overhead, reduces GPU memory duplication overhead, lowers electrical routing congestion, and allows GPUs to function as one collaborative AI training system rather than 72 separate gradient exchanging compute units. Then comes Spectrum X Ethernet Photonics. NVIDIA did not simply upgrade Ethernet routing. They replaced electrical bottlenecks with fiber optic photonic routing wherever possible. Photonic Ethernet transfers packets using light pulses instead of electrons. This reduces signal noise, congestion, interference, and routing cluster instability. Let's zoom out to the bigger picture. AI companies previously avoided deploying frontier AI features due to high compute costs. Rubin rewrites inference economics, GPU dependency for mixture of experts training, memory pin frequency performance, chip packaging yield math, and networking architecture efficiency at the same time. This triggers a new capital investment cycle for data centers. Inference cost and mixture of experts training, GPU dependency are now measurable. Strategic advantages. Whoever upgrades infrastructure first gains inference margins. Whoever upgrades last loses inference margins to competitors that modernized earlier. The five-layer computing architecture is changing. Software is trained, not manually programmed. Inference is GPU native. Applications generate tokens in real time using live contextual awareness. Traditional research and development budgets are shifting into AI infrastructure modernization funded by hundreds of billions of venture capital investments annually. Rubin is the hardware embodiment of that transformation. These machines are more than hardware. They are the first temples of intelligence built by humanity. We are not manufacturing chips anymore. We are forging cognition from matter. At CES 2026, NVIDIA also launched Alpamayo. This is open source, built for physical artificial intelligence and designed for vehicles and robots that must reason before acting. The center of this release is Alpamayo 1. This model includes 10 billion parameters and functions as a vision language action model, also known as VLA. The model interprets a driving scene using cameras, LIDAR, radar, and sensor inputs. It converts that scene into a structured internal understanding, reasons through the environment step by step, and then outputs a physical action such as steering, braking, acceleration, lane decisions, timing, trajectory, and intersection judgment. NVIDIA added chain of thought reasoning into driving decisions. This means Alpamayo does not only decide what to do, it also forms a rationale for the decision before executing it. NVIDIA frequently highlights an intersection with a failed traffic light because these are rare events. Rare events expose the true limitations of autonomous driving systems. Alpamayo is engineered to handle these unpredictable situations, even if the system has never encountered the exact failure case before. NVIDIA released a curated data set of over 1,700 hours of driving footage. These are not repetitive highway loops. They include low-frequency, complex driving scenarios collected across multiple geographies, weather conditions, congestion behaviors, sensor conflicts, outages, road ambiguity, near-miss decision moments, and system audit trails. NVIDIA also launched AlpaSim, an open-source autonomous driving simulator on GitHub. AlpaSim recreates a full driving environment safely, 
including sensor behavior, traffic unpredictability, signal outages, and complex decision-making intersections. This allows developers to train, test, and brake systems safely without risking human drivers. Cosmos supports Alpameo as a synthetic data engine. Cosmos produces virtual driving environments and synthetic rare failure cases that developers can blend with real footage. NVIDIA allows developers to compress Alpameo into smaller, faster models, fine-tune it into robotic systems, and build tools on top such as auto-labeling, pipelines, and decision-grading evaluators that analyze driving judgment accuracy. Now everyone is asking, what is the difference between Tesla FSD and NVIDIA Alpamayo? NVIDIA Alpamayo and Tesla FSD target the same goal, real autonomy. But their approaches differ. Alpamayo reasons before acting. It studies a driving scene, breaks it down internally, generates a rationale, and then executes a physical decision. This reasoning transparency is important for regulators, car manufacturers, and data center auditors. Tesla FSD works end-to-end. -end. Camera inputs convert directly into steering and braking decisions. Tesla's strength is scale. Millions of cars run FSD on real roads, collect unmatched real-world driving footage, and update rapidly over the air. Tesla's challenge is transparency. When a driving decision appears unusual, it can be harder to track exactly why the system selected it. Alpamayo's challenge is deployment scale. It iterates carefully before going to the road. FSD iterates rapidly because it is already on the road. Both aim for safe autonomy, but each optimizes different constraints. NVIDIA's strategy prioritizes reasoning transparency and system audit trails. Tesla's strategy prioritizes deployment scale and real-time road iteration speed. Both strategies can succeed under different constraints, but their advantages do not scale equally in the same economic environment. And if you want the real story behind the world's fastest-moving AI breakthroughs, make sure to like and subscribe to Evolving AI for daily coverage.